Taste of Calico, the limited capacity beard food festival at Knott's Berry Farm to take place in the historic ghost town with Sad Eye Joe, artisans, and stores for $25 a person. It's been over a decade since my last visit, so I had to sue Sad Eye Joe first. The town jail used to talk to the sheriff and then go to the jail. Oh goodness. Shady Lane. <laughs> oh. Boy, boy, howdy, sweetheart. How you doing? Uh, hi. You take him a picture? Uh, yes. Cheese. <laughs> Tell me how that picture comes out, sweetie. After being thoroughly startled by the fact that he spoke to me, we decided to start our hunt for the good stuff. Boysenberry wings, a decent portion of four for one tasting, super moist chicken, not very spicy, and just a hint of sweet. We continued on our way demanding more delectables and found the boysenberry sausage, which was amazing. The boysenberry mustard, I still dream about. And the roasted corn with cotilla cheese and extra chili pepper via my mom's request so I could react for YouTube. Enjoy. The hot part. <laughs> After trying to kill me with chili spice and failing, we visited the Ghost Town Graveyard, another delightful childhood memory in which delightful and graveyard can only be used at a theme park. Now, they do call it the Beer and Food Festival, and the tasting can be used on up to two alcoholic beverages. So, I got myself some boysenberry wine and gumbo made with scrumptious boysenberry sausage we had before and didn't even know I had been craving it. This gumbo was my number one for sure out of the whole festival. I give in a much better description, but all my mom managed to film was this. Do I have natural camera presence, mom? Yes, you do. So instead, enjoy the slow-mo of my dad's boysenberry beer. You're welcome. Feeling quite full, we went to check in on the locals. It's the barrel house! Not <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's working on the mill. The water wheel. And rides. It was really nice to see so many artisans and people making sure to social distance and wear their masks. Really nice stage with lots of empty seating, mostly because they're in the sun. We found a shaded area. It just keeps going. And all the rides are indeed not functioning. And dad is lost. You should go get him. Yeah, he is. After having some chili with my dad, we explored further, seeing the locomotives, reuniting with some old friends, and watching some magic. Sports and tricks like he can, uh, he can levitate, watch, levitate, 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 levitate back to sleep. I know. He'll take a bow, take a bow. I know, isn't it amazing? Okay, for those of you that are still not playing along, this ain't real. It's known as a spring animal or a fake animal. Uh, uh, it's a puppet, exactly. If you'd like to see his last trick, let me hear you say yes. Woo! That's what I like to hear. All right, he's got to do one final trick. Here we go. He gets in the box. Get, get in the box. You're going back to KFC. Get in the box. Okay. It's happened. He's vanished. I'll prove it to you. Look, the top is gone just like that. We'll take off the back panel just like this and the top panel completely gone. He's totally gone, completely gone. You have no idea where he is. He's totally and completely gone. You don't believe me, sir, do you? No, rabbit's gone. In fact, this year's my pet guinea pig. His name is Newman. Isn't he just the cutest? Everybody look at him. Isn't he just 
the sweetest <laughs> shit, buddy. Sit. Ladies and gentlemen, more of your round of applause for now, man. Everybody, Woo! isn't he just the cutest? Mwah. Oh, he is just the sweetest. I tell you what, yeah, he doesn't pay rent, so he has to work. During the peak heat of the day, my folks found a shady table while I waited in line for our treats, and all lines were generally short and clearly marked for social distancing. So we're gonna get some of that. Now, funnel cake was the one thing that I really remembered from my childhood at Knott's, and this was not quite what I expected. Mm. It's a lot more crumbly than I remember funnel cake being. It's probably because it's smaller, yeah? I want it just, I want There's so much there, it looks like it's about the same. Whoa, you know what I mean? whoa. I just want a tiny piece. Hold on. Good. It's tart a little bit because of the boysenberry, but I mean, it's okay. There's a fly. Mm. That second bite was way bigger than the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> My mother also wanted me to get her the boysenberry bread pudding, but since I'm not a huge fan due to the texture, this is her professional opinion. Do you taste the boysenberry? Not really, but it tastes <laughs> good. It is tasty. Any connoisseur notes of bread pudding? Just good, okay, great. <laughs> So reaching towards the bottom, we've realized that our funnel cake is kind of overdone. It's a little bit extra crunchy, and it's kind of like a Rice Krispie treat at this point, but I'm not complaining. It's pretty good, and uh, they gave us a lot of toppings, so mom added it to her bread pudding, and uh, she's happy about it. <laughs> Whilst digesting our desserts, I noticed the overall theming of the park was far better than I remembered, and a cast member was meticulously cleaning the shooting gallery, which I had never seen, and that just kept calling my name. So I went mano a mano versus my dad. At this moment, I should mention my dad is better than me and didn't miss a single shot. beaten it was time for some shop therapy with boysenberry everything cookies jam barbecue sauce coffee wow. these are cool thank you is it seen that's, that's not bad it's a glass going in here making full batches of rocks and then not being able to get them and being sad. I've had my share of sparkly rocks so.
Also, I found a pop gun. It's a good mascot, Mom. Good job. <laughs> yeah, Robin is supposed to be a bird, but... Uh... It's a chicken. Around 4 o'clock, it had cooled off quite a bit, and it was the most comfortable time to be there. If you are going on a Sunday, don't be afraid to go to the park a little bit later just to keep cool. The lines were never too long, and the food is always nice and fresh. They have drinks to cool off, and it's very, very nice. And we're headed to the relax zone over there. Ooh, nice relax. Smells so good. We're in the relax zone, so we can take our masks off. Can't see my eyes. It's so bright. Got my beer. The beer is pretty good. It's kind of like a wheat beer, and then it just has some fruity boysenberry on the end. So pretty good. But this view is beautiful. Look at it. Look at the view. Look all of all that water. Glad y'all here today. There is delicious grub everywhere. And there's picnic tables all over the dang place too. A lot of places to sit out in the shade. Enjoy a little picnic lunch out the sun. We may add macaroni and cheese bites. Who the heck had the idea of deep frying macaroni and cheese? Is a dang genius. That's downright our comedian. <laughs> Mac and cheese bites with french fries and sriracha ketchup. Sriracha, sriracha, mom. Sriracha. <laughs> you probably like it, right? Yeah. Yeah. On recording some french fries. Oh, I like the I'm a huge sriracha fan. I have a whole bottle at home. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip dunk that one. Ooh. No, that doesn't really go together. <laughs> That's just kind of weird. I don't know. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I would want these to be like a smidge crunchier. But I mean, it's, it's creamy mac and cheese that's deep fried, so, but it's good. Berry smoothie, one of our last things of the day. And we got it in a small cup. I don't think it was supposed to be this small. It's a big straw. That is boysenberry. They mentioned that there's uh, lime juice in it, and I'm tasting the lime. I think only because I know that there's lime in it. So. Also, paper straw. I appreciate it for the environment, but very hard to drink this <laughs> Mmm. Very sugary, very icy. It's been very hot today, so it's good. <laughs> After the shikari smoothie, I had one last tasting on my card and decided to try a boysenberry cider via the Calico Saloon. Our last item of the day is a boysenberry cider. So pretty. I'm hanging with my girls. That is delightful. Did you want any? No? Okay. With that last cider, leave me doing a chicken dance, it was time to call it. Well, that's it for our case in Calico. We had so much fun, but they locked me up. So, it was a great experience. I'm glad that we went out. It felt completely safe. And it's even safer now that I'm in here. Bye.